Hello again, my friends. Today we're gonna have a dissection. <laughs> you know, I just uh, got a new Xenix Q802 USB. You know, it's almost the same mixer like the classic uh, 802. I suppose it's the same correction here. What is new? Compressor, which I found very nice, and the USB sound card included. Well, like always, I want to change the power supply connection. And that's why I have already this kind of connector. This is really professional. Have the nut turned on and you are secure. Nothing wrong happens and so on. What I found about this um, Q802 is kind of noise. You know, it's higher hiss than the classic one. I'm not sure why, but uh, as long as I'm changing the power supply plug, we can have a look. Let's open it up first. A lot of tape all around. This is good, you know, it's preserving the aspect of the mixer. Well, I bought it like that. It's not uh, new from the shop. It's new from a studio, almost unused. You can see here the microphone connectors are untouched absolutely untouched because you could see scratches and stuff like that so uh, i may say it's not worked at all no scratches nothing and of course like always you know i'm looking for good prices that cost me around 85 euros are you kidding me <laughs> beautiful okay let me take this out it's stuck with the tape let's be gentle and try not to break anything obviously i can't that's a good idea to have this kind of tape you know at least when you are traveling a lot and moving all around I preserve the look you see i bet this one was never opened before a lot of people are complaining about heat you know, they are getting hot. Probably it's not a good heat sink or something. We'll take a look in a second and uh, maybe we'll do some improvements about that. Beautiful. Does the heat sink here? Of course, you can see it's sealed. Nice. Okay, that should be enough. So we have these operationals here. That's for sure. 45, 50, 2 or 3 or something. 4580 air. And these big guys here, they are, I think, that is for the compressor. It's a new board, you know. 074 GRC I704P. What about this? That's a ST. G and a diamond sign 02042. I think these two are responsible with the LED. I think everybody here it's 4580. I don't know about the preamp here, but you also have some transistors. I don't have the schematic, but anyway, I think the hiss is coming from this uh, 4580. I have to search for that and maybe. I found some uh, some other IC for a better noise. Okay, and here I'm absolutely sure there are linear regulators to have access to the power supply there. I need to take out all these guys. Okay, and bam bam, this is out. What we got here exactly that's the power regulators, and this is for sure working with 15 volts. And I can see electrolytics, which can also be the reason for the noise. I have to check that also. Few transistors here. I think these are the 
preamp transistors but as long as i don't have a schematic i can't say anything for now and up here we have the usb adapter this one is the analog digital converter and this one makes possible for the mixer to be connected on the pc yeah we'll see about that later for me now important is to have the connector back in place if we can fit this one it's going away oh but it's glued in place hmm interesting of course i need some washers because the hole it's too big so uh, i'll go to have some proper washers you see instead of washer i found another plastic bezel from uh, another mixer from before and uh, let me try another approach and uh, you see i just made room or enough room in fact to fit this one in here it's looking pretty okay amazing nice better than factory huh what do you think yes it is so in fact we don't need any washer i just cut this to a certain level and this one have some shoulder here you know this uh, gap gets back into the case now it's impossible to move it for sure and i will apply some hot glue around here to make it even better in the meantime it's not enough room for for this one so i have to take out the original let's do that oh, but you know something as long as we are here let's check these voltages i mean it should be 15 plus and it should be number four 15 minus but i can see a kind of oscillation there well a better heating could be a solving we got plus minus 15 volts 18.9 perfect we have a three volts difference consumed by the linear power supply. what's good about linear power supply 78 15 79 15 they are absolutely quiet so we got no noise if you take a, a switching power supply in fact at least for audio good to avoid that kind of uh, stuff because they are very noisy a lot of harmonies and harmonics and stuff like that okay meantime let's have some hot glue yeah it's looking good all right let's take this out yes there we go Pretty okay. Of course, this one can be reused. Bright new. Bright new, you see? No scratches. Nice, I love it. Now, let's marry these two guys. I should do the soldering before. Yeah. Now it's solid. perfect how's looking like i think it's fine all i have to do now is to uh, change the wiring and uh, to put all these things back in the place and that's it i have to search about the hiss about the noise well if you keep it in a in a certain values i'm talking about the volume you know the gain if you keep it in certain values doesn't bother you but i feel like this one it's kind of noisier than uh, 802 simple you know the simple model okay i'll be back with news as soon as i find about the operational circuits about the pms here and all the other stuff okay that's it for today please don't forget to subscribe and like and of course i'm waiting your comments see you soon and have fun bye bye